Hi guys, Kevin here. Today I have a fun for you, but maybe not so much fun for me, home improvement project. Let me get behind the camera. Yes, I love you too. Let me get behind the camera and I'll show you what's happening. The project in question is this radiator pipe. The paint is peeling. It's really bad in the lower portion. The upper part is not too bad, but I am going to scrape it and paint it today. Let me show you what I'm using. To scrape off the loose paint, I'm going to use some number three steel wool. You could use a wire brush for the same kind of job. I just happen to have the steel wool around. And to protect my hands, I'm wearing blue gloves which happened to go very nicely with this emerald green shirt. So let me get to work and I'll come back after I've scraped the pipe. I'm starting at the top. Fortunately, the upper part wasn't too bad. The lower part is the worst. But this number three still wool is doing a great job. I'm just wrapping it around the pipe and then applying some pressure and pulling down. Of course, while doing this job, I'm also noticing that the trim around the uh, ent entrance hall doors needs to be cleaned, but that will be an easy job that requires nothing more than a dust mop and maybe some soap and water. One, one job always leads to another. And because one job always leads to another, you might not want to start any home improvement projects whatsoever. Anyway, let me move the camera a little closer so you can see how much loose paint came off. Well, it's hard for you to see. Anyway, I'm going to vacuum this up and then I'll show you how I'm going to prime the pipe. Be right back. We are ready to prime this pipe. And the primer I'm using, let me see if I can bring it a little closer, is Zisner Bullseye 123. I suppose it's as good as any primer. And the brush I'm using is one and a half inches. And I don't think it will spatter any paint. We shall see. Oh, in case you were wondering, the pipes are cool. We haven't turned on the heat yet. It's only October 2nd. And although it's chilly outside and it's chilly inside, it's not chilly enough to warrant firing up the boiler. Okay, the priming job is done. And I have to say the pipe already looks a million times better. I have to let this dry for one hour. So I'm going to put my brush, or I have already put my brush, in a plastic bag. This way the brush won't dry out. And I'll come back and when we're ready to apply the finish paint. Okay, I am back. The primer is dry. So now it's time to do the finish coat. And for this, I happen to find the can of paint that we used for the chair rail and the frame around the entrance hall doors. So it's a good thing I kept it. And I brought this over to the hardware store and they mixed it up for me in their special machine. So it should be good to go. I'm going to start painting and then I will come back and show you the finished product. Just a quick thought. I'm really glad that I primed this pipe because the finish coat is going on really easily. I'll only need one coat. Okay, I've applied the finish coat. It went on very easily. And I forgot to tell you that this is a semi-gloss finish and it says 100% acrylic. Apparently, from, from what I've read anyway, 
You don't need to use any special kind of heat paint or heat resistant paint for a steam riser because the riser will never achieve more than 212 degrees. If you're a cook, as I am, you'll know that 212 is the temperature at which water boils. And I'm gonna come behind the camera and give you an overall view. And wow, 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 what a huge improvement. I'm no longer embarrassed when people enter the house and see a steam riser or steam pipe with peeling paint. And although this was not a fun project, it was certainly a worthwhile project. So I hope my little project has inspired you to tackle some little project in your own home. And tomorrow or the next day, I'm planning to tackle these double doors. I'm going to polish them. And if you'd like, I'll shoot a video for you. Actually, I'll shoot the video even if you don't want me to. And I hope you'll subscribe to my YouTube channel and I hope you'll leave a comment below. And I'll see you next time. Bye for now.